Hello everyone, this is the first video in a series of videos on ABB Robot Studio. In this tutorial, we will learn how to navigate, rotate and zoom the view of the robot that you can see for example over here. We will learn how to set the operating mode, that is to activate the motors. Then we will learn how to activate flex pendant, here is the flex pendant. Then we will learn about robot jogging and then we will learn about three modes of motion about the linear motion mode the reorient motion mode and axis motion mode okay so let us start after opening the robot studio you will obtain the following screen you have to click over here solution with station virtual controller and then over here you can select your robot wear and robot model I'm selecting the robot wear and the robot model that exists in our lab. However, if you have a different lab or if you have a different robot model, you can change the robot model over here. And finally, you click on create. Now, depending on uh, how fast is your system, it's going to take maybe several seconds, maybe 30 seconds to arrange everything. That is, it will take some time for Robot Studio to load. Okay, after maybe 30 seconds, this window will pop up. I'm going to select this option and I'm going to click on OK. OK, so this is my basic view and the first thing that we will learn is how to move left and right. So if I press the control key and the left mouse button, I can move my view left and right. Now, if I press Ctrl, Shift, and the left mouse button, I can rotate the view. To zoom in and out, you need to press the Ctrl key and the right mouse button. So the Ctrl key and the right mouse button. And if you move mouse up or down, the view will zoom in or zoom out. Next, we will learn how to activate the device such that we can move this robot and how to activate the teach or flex pendant. So, to do these steps, we click on the controller and we can click on operating mode. Here we have three options. We are going to select the second option and we are going to click enable device. Okay, now we can move our joints. So the next step is to bring the teach or the flex pendant. We can do so by clicking over here and we need to wait for a few seconds such that the robot wear loads. Now, this flex pendant or teach pendant is basically a virtual simulation of a real-life flex pendant. So all the steps that you can perform in real life you can perform in this simulation environment. For example, if we want to move the robot or to jog the robot to another position, we need to click over here and to activate the menu jogging. Next, we will learn about three possible motion modes. If we click over here, we will bring the menu with the motion modes. I will click on linear motion mode and I'm going to click on OK. So this is a linear motion mode and over here you can see three possible directions X, Y and Z. So, this X 
direction is activated by clicking over here or over here. This is a positive or negative x direction. Now I'm going to move flex pendant over here and you can see the direction of x-axis is given over here. y-axis is given over here and z-axis is given over here. So we are moving this point over here that is the center point of a base not of a base plate don't be confused this is not the base plate we are moving this point base plate is over here this is the base you're moving this point in the x y or z direction so if i want to move the point in the y direction i will click over here so now the point moves in the y direction and if I want to move it up or down in the Z direction, I will press it over here. So I'm moving down or I'm moving up. Next, we will learn another motion mode. So what happens if I want to move one of the axes? So let's say I want to move the axis one. I will click motion modes and then I'm, I, I will activate axis 1 to 3 and I will click OK. So let's see what happens now. If I want to move the axis 1, that is if I want to rotate this robot around its base, I will move or press this button over here. Now I'm rotating the robot. Another axis is activated by pressing the down arrow. And finally, the third axis is activated by pressing these circular arrows. If I want to change the axis, I will click over here and I will click over here. Now, I will move the axis 4. So axis 4, here it is. Here is the axis 5. And final axis is the axis 6. Actually the axis 6 should be this one. Let me just bring back the robot to its position. So here is the axis 6. So the robot or actually this end plate just rotates. Another option for selecting the mode is to click over here, to click on this button. So you can switch between different modes by clicking over here, or you can select the axis by clicking over here. If I click it once, I have one, two, and three. If I click it once more, I have five, four, and six. Next, we will learn about the third motion mode. So if I click over here, I'm going to select reorient motion mode. And let's see what happens right now. Okay, so if I press these arrows, you will notice that one point stay, stays fixed. And this is the point that stays fixed and the robot is basically moving around this point. So if I do like this or if I press over here, you will notice that the robot moves around this point. This is a very useful option, for example, in welding or in some other applications because over here we can attach an end effector. And basically robot can reorient reorient itself with respect to that point so that motion mode is super useful okay that would be all for today i hope that you enjoyed this video if you like this video or if you find these videos useful please subscribe or support my channel thank you very much and have a nice day